Empty backfield and McCown fires to the end zone. Tipped and intercepted. Picked off by James Ehedemo. And the loose ball. Not sure whether Ehedemo was down or not, but there might be yet another turnover on a fumble. So another deflected interception. And Sue has to be pushed away by the back judge. This moment's after the penalty. And there's nothing good going on at the bottom of that pile. Believe <laughs> me. This is how guys make a living, so they'll do whatever they can to get that football on the bottom of that pile. Just unspeakable things. But how about the Buccaneers with a first and goal needing a score? Well, I'll tell you what, I don't like the play call and the decision and all of that. It just doesn't make any sense to me. You've got, at that before the play, a minute 49 left on the clock. You know how potent Detroit's offense can be. Tampa Bay has it. That's the call, but we'll be looking at it, and it'll be reviewed. To me, you have too much time left. You have a, a sufficient enough of timeouts. There's no need to throw the football right now. This, to me, again, is a rookie mistake by the offensive coordinator, Marcus Arroyo. Run the football. Take some time off the clock. You don't need to put your quarterback in that sort of position. Now, again, wasn't a great throw or great decision, Mr. but in the end, the there's no reason to be in that position. Vincent Jackson was the intended receiver. Luke Stocker forced the fumble, so now it'll be first down and...